I'm here today with my fellow neighbors to learn, listen, and discuss the uh, conversation regarding the Fairview Development Center in um, taking uh, the brunt of the county's homelessness um, in the center of Costa Mesa. I just wanted to ask you, uh, what is your first take on what happened here and how did we get here? Well, first of all, I'm extremely glad to hear that the city council appears to be unanimous in opposing this uh, ill-conceived plan. And my understanding is that uh, after all the, the rushing around that the county has been doing in the last week regarding the homeless issue and the, the uh, mandates that it has under Judge David Carter of the United States District Court and the various litigations that are ongoing right now over the homeless in the riverbed, that um, there was a vote 4-1 uh, from the county supervisors to place uh, temporary shelters in Laguna Niguel, Irvine, and Huntington Beach. That was very ill-conceived. And uh, as Supervisor Todd Spitzer said, it was, you know, there's no notice given to those cities. It was just a rushed plan uh, that I think they were doing in response to the court action. Uh, in the subsequent time, that has been overturned. The vote was 5-0 to rescind that uh, on Friday, I believe, or maybe yesterday. Um, but as a result of the, the, the Huntington Beach and Irvine and, and Laguna Niguel plan off the table, uh, our state senator, John Morlock, who's a great guy, and I know he's got a great heart, and I don't know why he thought of this idea, but, um, and Supervisor, uh, Supervisor Nelson issued a press release, a joint press release, stating that they would seek to use the Fairview Developmental Center as the county's next step, the next mm -hmm. answer to relocate the Civic Center homeless, as well as the folks that have been put in motels and are still kind of uh, the rem remnants of the folks who were uh, evicted from the riverbed back in February. So. Uh, obviously, a uh, press release goes out without any consultation with the city of Costa Mesa, and uh, that's why we're here. A special city council meeting was, uh, was called. I uh, applaud uh, Mayor Gannis for calling that meeting. I applaud City Manager Hatch for uh, organizing it and getting everybody here in this very short period of time, this tremendous organization they did. But uh, as you've heard, a lot of the public speakers tonight and a lot of the public officials have basically said this is a terrible idea, it was ill-conceived, and it shouldn't have been done in the first place. So do you think this solution will only enhance our current problems that we have without even discussing this additional population to come into our city? I don't want to discuss what a solution is because I don't believe that anybody on this planet has one. It is a human crisis that has been with us since the dawn of man himself. Um, I'm not quite sure there is a full solution, but we have to start looking at the dialectics here and be kind to those who genuinely need our help versus those who are refusing it because they are degenerates not to judge. but. I guess that's a judgmental word. Truly the issue of homelessness and the uh, mental illness uh, increase that we're seeing in the community has pretty much sparked this. The concern that I have is that you know we have facilities that are currently in place that can facilitate taking in these individuals. However, we choose to look and turn a blind eye. And unfortunately what's going to happen that it's going to get progressively worse. I think that until we can recognize the people who are mentally challenged or just have the inability to uh, take care of themselves and get the medical treatment that they need, it's going to continue getting worse. So I'm curious, with your background, obviously with Trellis, I would like to ask your opinion. Do you think this was a knee-jerk reaction from the county, or was this a thoughtful plan? No, this was definitely a knee-jerk reaction and not much thought went into this whole plan at all. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of pressure on the county to do something because this is a state of emergency with the homelessness. And I applaud the county for wanting to finally do something, but it shouldn't have taken this much pressure for the county to do something. And they should put more thought into what they want to do and what should be done. And, of course, listen to the citizens first. Now, do you think it's possible for every city in Orange County to contribute to the cause? and do their part? I think it's mandatory for every city to do their part. Uh, it shouldn't be a county burden. The county shouldn't decide what city is to take the burden. Costa Mesa shouldn't take the burden for the whole county. Every city should do their part. Anaheim's doing their part. Costa Mesa's most certainly done their part. We have, uh, we're sort of at the forefront of homelessness between the programs uh, we have and the vision we have of what we want to do with homelessness. But, you know, Costa Mesa's doing their part. The rest of the cities need to step up and do their part, too. What were your thoughts when you found out that the county was considering the Fairview Development Center as the uh, basically ground zero for the county's homelessness? It's a good idea to use that development center for this case. Here's the deal. They have to put a time period on it. 30, uh, 90 days six months or a year. Help them get adjusted and put them, get them back into the workforce. 
but it's a good idea. I think they should come together and quit passing the buck and get in. Everybody put into the kitty and make it work. I just wanted to say that, you know, there, the homeless situation should be cleaned up first before they even consider something like this. I mean, it's, it's getting to the point of walking in the city uh, it, and using the parks as like you're, you're scared. And my daughter is just turned 16. She still runs through Fairview Park. I run through there. They just had a murder in there by a homeless person. And here they are putting these homeless people that are not going to be locked up. They're going to be free. You can't lock up people like that. They're still going to be able to be able to go out and walk around. And they're going to go to parks and whatnot and continue on doing what they do. And it's just ridiculous having that situation when you have this sober living condition and homeless condition already in existence with people running around, you know, like people said it tonight, you know, peeing in public, uh, defecating, drugs, needles, everything going on in broad daylight. We're not just talking during, during at night time. Now, what was your take when you first heard that the county was considering bringing the burden of the county to Costa Mesa? Honestly, I work all over the world with city councils and destinations and developments. I have not gotten involved in anything locally uh, for a very long time, and it made me get out of bed and get out of my house and talk to all of my friends and community who are homeowners here or rent here and really need to be the one that came out and said something about the fact that we do not support uh, short-term plans at Fairview Development Center. We do support compassionate housing solutions that are long-term for people who are experiencing homelessness and more efforts to help feed, house, give them the medical treatment that they need. Now, when it comes to short-term plans, which I hear you're not a fan of, how does that impact neighborhoods when it's just a short-term plan versus a well-thought-out strategy? I think significantly, uh, it, I don't think that we should ever be doing short-term plans and having knee-jerk reactions uh, to send out press releases. I send out a lot of press releases myself. Don't make a short-term knee-jerk reaction to send out a press release without consulting the community that has already been working really hard on homelessness and the organizations like Trellis, like the task force, like the different churches in the area that have been doing something around homelessness. If you want to see more of something, subsidize it. And so they're talking about literally, and, and, and these various people are standing up saying, we need a permanent solution. Let's make this permanent. Let's, let's create housing for the homeless. And, and at the same time, some of these same people complain about affordability in Costa Mesa. Well, the fact is, if Costa, one of the things I think that Costa Mesa has gotten wrong is that more so than Newport Beach or Corona del Mar or Irvine or other some of our surrounding cities, we have intentionally created more affordable or low-income housing, and so you get more of our population that happens to fit that category, people that, that really don't contribute to the tax base, they, they, have, they consume more services, they, they, are, they actually create more problems, and they don't solve it, and this, this homeless is one aspect of that. We get the, the, and one of the other feeders, I think, to that problem are the, uh, the sober living and, and drug rehab centers that we've got and, and I, I recall a recent, I'm, I'm not sure who put the documentary together, but it was observed that the city of Costa Mesa has one of the highest populations of those facilities in America. Do you, do you think John Morlock blew it? No. Um, I think maybe there should have been some discussion with the city before it was announced. But I think his heart's in the right place. I think there's a big piece of property over there, and 25% of it is for institutional use. We need more mental health care. We have the same amount of beds today as we had in 1850. And we've lost 95% of the mental health beds in the United States. And I wrote a proposal 18 months ago for a wraparound mental health facility that would be very low profile and would be world class. This would be something Orange County would be proud of. And John was very supportive of it. He wants to help these people. We're under the gun. And I just think people got ahead of themselves. So we really have to step back a little bit, think about it a lot more, and then work together. I've been involved in the Coast Mesa political scene for short term versus so many of uh, the other people. But 
look at this room. Hundreds of people were brought out tonight by, I think, a careless and a reckless plan that was just thrown out by a county supervisor for a issue that the county's facing, our city's facing, and that's homelessness. The problem was it was announced just saying, we're going to shift a homeless problem to the city of Costa Mesa at the Fairview Development Center. Where word spread like fire, and you could see a lot of people out here tonight uh, spending their Wednesday night away from their families and getting off work early to come speak out, mostly against it. But I think a lot of people are saying, okay, let's look at the long-term solution. This is not a long-term solution. That was initially proposed. I'm not even sure what was proposed other than shifting the Santa Ana homeless encampment to Costa Mesa. Right. And do you think that it's only going to add more or more fuel the fire to what we're already handling here in Costa Mesa, which we haven't solved yet first? Absolutely. So I think in, in the city of Costa Mesa alone, we have you know, a couple hundred homeless individuals that have been identified by the city. Now we're taking hundreds from the rest of the county. Irvine said no, Laguna Niguel said no, Huntington Beach said no. The county board of supervisors said, okay, we won't, we won't open sh the shelters there. So now we're gonna take everyone at Fairview Development Center and put them here. What's missing though is this is a state owned and operated facility currently. I haven't heard what the state has said. The county tonight in the presentation said, well, we're re reversing that decision. Let's hope that's the case, except I'm not sure this is the end of it. If the state comes in and declares an emergency and opens this center up to a homeless shelter, that's what we may be looking at, and that's what I think scares a lot of people. If this were to occur, do you think it would make it a desirable spot for L.A. County to also redistribute their homelessness to Costa Mesa? It's a tough question. Um, L.A. County obviously has a huge homeless problem, and they have the results of, I think, some very poor planning and some poor decisions, skid rows. That's what we're trying to avoid here in Costa Mesa. We're not trying to say we're not going to help. We do help. It's amazing. The, the city, uh, the homeless uh, uh, network uh, solutions teams, through the nonprofits such as Trellis and Mercy House, doing wonderful things in our community to give a hand up, not just a hand out with nothing to give for it. So if other cities, LA County, I don't know, to be honest, but other cities and, and our own neighboring facility in neighborhood, Newport Beach, there's gonna people be bringing people to a homeless shelter with, right now I've heard no rules, it could be a tent city. That's a disaster for Coast Mesa and it's not helping solve the solution or the problem, which is bringing homeless people into homes, into jobs, into a neighborhood. This isn't a neighborhood that's safe for the homeless community, it's not safe for the residents.